This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. Twenty one Firebending Abilities. Welcome to the Imagi. In today's video, we're going over twenty one firebending abilities. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Blazing Rings and Arcs Spinning kicks or sweeping arm movements create rings and arcs to slice larger, more widely spaced, or evasive targets. Zuko used a circular motion with his feet to create an expanding ring and successfully knocked Azula down during their comet-enhanced Agni Kai. Number 2. Blocking Fire a skilled firebender can diffuse and extinguish an oncoming fire blast from another firebender by using a swift kick, jab, or other defensive maneuver, allowing them to stop attacks. Number 3. Fire Blade A more advanced version of a blazing arc. By narrowing and condensing their flame projections, firebenders can create thin blades of fire to slice through objects without completely destroying them. Azula used this technique to cut open a wall, and Zuko used it to free Azula from Katara's water whips. Number 4. Firebomb Used as a short-range attack, a firebender can create a flame at the end of a limb and thrust the flame down in an explosive burst. Zuko used this technique once, and both Zuko and Aang performed it at the beginning of their routine on Ember Island. Enhanced by the power of Sozin's Comet, Phoenix King Ozai used an extremely powerful variant of a firebomb to break through Aang's Earth Shield. Number 5. Fire Circle A technique demonstrated by the Sun Warriors. They created a circle of fire and suspended it in the air for an extended period of time. The tribesmen made these circles with the Eternal Flame just before Zuko and Aang were to be judged by Ron and Shaw. Number 6. Fire Daggers Blowtorch-like jets which are created from the fist or fingertips to use as close-range melee attacks. However, they lack the ability to actually block physical objects. Both Zuko and Azula have used this technique, the latter to hold Kuei hostage during the coup of Ba Sing Se. Korra used a variant of this technique, creating a blowtorch as opposed to a dagger to cut through the chains that were binding Tenzin and his family during the Equalist Victory Rally. Mako used this technique to threaten Two-Toed Ping for information regarding the theft of Future Industries' entire stockpile of technology. Korra also used this technique when getting ready to fight Macau and Lily at the Misty Palms Inn. Number 7. Fire Streams a basic firebending ability, firebenders can shoot continuous streams of fire from their fingertips, fists, palms, or legs. These streams can be widened to create flamethrower-like techniques. Fire Nation soldiers often use this technique to damage or destroy villages and towns. Number 8. Fire Whip An extension of a fire stream, this continuous stream of flame has a semi-tactile quality and can be used as a whip. The prison guards at the Boiling Rock used this technique to round up the prisoners during a lockdown, and a trainer of the Fire Nation Circus employed it to intimidate Appa. Zuko used a larger version of the Fire Whip in his fight in Ba Sing Se, creating streams of great length for continuous mid to long range combat, which he used to counter Katara's Water Whip technique. Number 9. Fire Lashes An even further extension of the Fire Whip or stream, firebenders can create a long lash of fire and bring it down on their enemies like Azula did to Aang, or create smaller, multiple lashes and envelop an area with fire like Zuko did. Number 10. Jet Propulsion Skilled firebending masters are able to conjure huge amounts of flame to propel themselves at high speeds on the ground or through the air. Normally this can only be used for short periods of time by regular firebenders. However, when augmented by Sozin's Comet or the Avatar State, this technique can be used for sustained levitation and flight. It was first demonstrated by Azula during her battle with Aang in the Crystal Catacombs. During the fight, Azula released the flames she used to propel herself horizontally, which blasted Aang backward. Azula used this skill to propel herself through the air over the boiling lake, as she was pursuing Zuko, Sokka, and Suki when they were escaping the prison. When Azula was knocked off an airship, she used a smaller burst of fire to propel herself onto a cliff, saving herself from falling to her death. During Sozin's Comet, Ozai and Zhang Zhang were capable of utilizing this skill with much more proficiency than Azula had ever shown. Azula and Zuko both executed this technique while powered by the Comet during their Agni Kai, and Phoenix King Ozai used it extensively during the battle at Wulong Forest with Aang. 
It was also used by General Iroh of the United Forces as he flew through the air above Republic City while defending against Equalist planes. This technique can also be used to briefly run across a vertical surface, as Mako and Korra did during an Equalist rally. Korra also used it to propel herself through the air during her fight with Sahir. Number 11. Jet Stepping a more precise form of jet propulsion and variation of the dust-stepping and mist-stepping techniques used by earthbenders and waterbenders respectively. By using small bursts of flames beneath their feet, a firebender can quickly scale buildings. This technique was created by Ranji after she observed Lek using dust-stepping. Number 12. Fireballs or Fire Jabs Another basic ability, jabs and punches produce miniature fireballs and missiles of flame. These can be charged up to create larger, slower bursts, or swiftly and repetitively fired to keep opponents off balance. Number 13. Flame Redirection In a similar fashion to water bending, firebenders are capable of changing the course of an oncoming fire blast and redirecting it back at the attacker using fluid motion. This move exemplifies the use of firebending as an extension of the body and is used infrequently in modern combat in favor of more offensive maneuvers. Juan used this to defend spirits from firebending hunters. Number 14. Shield of Fire This technique creates a protective shield of fire in front of or around a firebender that can deflect attacks and explosions. It may be a lesser version of the Wall of Flames. Number 15. The Dancing Dragon this firebending form was learned from the sacred statues that were hidden atop the ancient civilization of the Sun Warriors. It involves a more fluid and natural form of firebending. It is a simple, yet possibly very powerful firebending form, as it also brings advantages for more skilled firebenders. Upon integrating it into his own style, Zuko's abilities improved to the point that he was able to duel evenly with Azula, successfully dispelling her attacks instead of overcoming them or trying to endure them. It is also one of the few firebending techniques with defensive capabilities. There is a circular nature to the technique, which is unusual in firebending. The only other known techniques to incorporate smooth circular movements are the fire circle and lightning generation. Number 16. Charged Attacks Certain firebenders have been shown charging their attacks before releasing them, allowing them to create enormous blasts of fire. Zuko and Iroh used a combined charged attack against Aang prior to their first encounter. Zhao may have charged some of his attacks before releasing them when he fought Aang. Azula used this skill against Aang when they were battling atop the drill. During the battle in the Crystal Catacombs, Zuko used this technique against both Aang and Katara, and Iroh used a charged fire blast to defend himself against several Dai Li agents. During the battle at Wulong Forest, using Comet Enhanced Firebending, Phoenix King Ozai and several Imperial Firebenders unleashed charged fire blasts of enormous size from airships in an attempt to carry out their Scorched Earth plan, and Ozai later used it again to break Aang's rock sphere during their battle. Iroh used a charged attack to destroy Ba Sing Se's thick inner wall during the liberation of the city. Number 17. Fire Augmentation Firebenders can also control the size and intensity of any nearby flames and can draw them in to manipulate them at will. Zuko was the first one to show mastery over this technique, when he augmented the flame of the candles before him when his uncle brought him bad news. Avatar Roku used this method to protect himself and counter an attack by Zhao and his soldiers while Aang channeled his spirit. Zhang Zhang augmented the fire in his candles while he was discouraging Aang. When Azula scared Chan, the torch behind Azula also fell under her firebending as it burned bright blue. Zuko later augmented a campfire while confronting his anger. Another example is the fire in the Fire Lord's throne room. When Ozai and Azulon get angry, the flames rose up higher and burned more rapidly. It was also evident when Azula was on the throne and flames around her turned to dark blue. Another example was when Zuko was attacking Aang in the beach house as he disintegrated flames Aang used to counterattack. Number 18. Fire Comet An advanced form of the fire stream in which the user pressurizes the fire into a ball and shoots it toward the enemy. Iroh employed this technique to break through the inner wall during the liberation of Ba Sing Se. Number 19. Fire Missiles A more advanced form of the fire stream, powerful firebenders can shoot long streams of fire that follow the target as they move. This technique was used by both Ozai and Aang during the battle at Wulong Forest. Number 20. Fire Pinwheel A whirling disk of flame capable of being used at long range. Only Azula appeared to have the ability to create these while in pursuit of Aang and Omashu. Number 21. Intertwined Fire Stream an advanced move based on the basic fire stream, 
the performer directs two powerful fire streams at their opponent, though by intertwining the two streams, a massive comet-shaped fire stream is formed that has more power than the single stream. Zuko used this technique in the Crystal Catacombs and later again in his Agni Kai with Azula. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.